So for today, we're going to be looking at the ornaments that the hunters got Titans and warlocks. Don't worry. You guys will have your own individual videos. Like I usually do uh, season of the plunder is a great example. I'll show you all three videos that I made for each of the classes. We usually do this for the new ornaments that we get. I usually see them in the customization options and I make an armor set around it uh, just to see like to like kind of vibe with it to see if I can if I like it enough to get it or not. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe it really does help. I really do appreciate it. But other than that, let's get into it. So the first one we're going to be looking at for the hunters is going to be the Frosties. Thankfully, Frosties got a new ornament. It actually looks really, really cool. It's, I'll just show it to you right now. I'm a really big fan of it. I really like uh, just the fact that they leaned into the snow like name of it. It's super cool. I really like the spikiness of the boots. I love the rope. I love I love so many of this. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people might come out and just be like, this looks kind of boring but i really like it because i've been wanting to do a snow like a snow look for a while specifically like uh, i don't know like someone who's traveling in snow i've tried some like snow snow infused uh militaristic looks but i'm not the biggest fan of it and with this exotic i think i finally am able to do that as for how it shaders i think it shaders really well i love the, the colors that I'm seeing specifically for echoed anger, you will see that the straps are taking white, but that really doesn't bother me because a lot of it is red. Even the armor plates at the shins, you can see that a lot of it is red. And then the off color will be the, uh, the middle plate, the blue color. I am such a big fan of this set. I don't know why it's not like super, super crazy, but I just like the simplicity of it, of it I guess. Uh, same thing for Abyssinian gold. I like the, a lot of the colors that I'm seeing. Uh, I, I do tend to not like the brown color of Abyssinian gold for the armor plates, but in this case, it's so little that I guess I can probably just ignore it outright. So for shadering, it looks good. There's not a lot of pieces that are unshaderable. If any, I don't see anything. If you do, let me know in the comments below, but I don't see anything that's unshaderable, which is a big dub. You always want to see that and it shaders really well. As for the example set, I ended up going with snow, just inspired look. So for the helmet, we're using the streetwise mask. It's one of my favorite masks. If you want, if I want to do like a like a snow thing, because it looks like a, a helmet uh, a snowboard border would use. So that's why I really like it. For the arms, Krista Cream Grips was an easy choice considering this is from Europa, and the whole set is like a snow themed look. For the chest piece, same thing. It's from a snow themed set as well. Break Tech Combat Vest. It's legitimately one of my favorite chess pieces to the point where I actually got it for for a future transmog because I really do like it and obviously eight thousand or for the boots for the cloak this is where it got interesting because the Meridian constellation was not my first choice it was like my third or fourth but the reason I went with it is because it just makes more sense to have this because of the fur at the end of the cloak I think that just makes more sense for it for a like snow themed look and at the end of the day, I think this looks this looks fire. Uh, if I were to change a few things, I would probably change the arms to something else or probably switch out the Krista Cream grips with the Christian cream chest piece and the break tech combat vest with the break tech combat arms. Maybe my only issue with that combination is the fact that the Krista cream chest piece looks a little bit more militaristic than anything else, which is why I don't use it. But Hunters, let me know what you guys think. Again, I think this is a really cool one to start off with. And once I get the 8,000 er uh, ornament, because they uh, they are settling it for brightness this season, I will probably go in like super ham and just try to see if I can make something look super dope. So yeah, Hunters, let me know if you guys are picking this one up or not. For the last ornament we're gonna be looking at is the isochronal nano fluid for the renewal grasp. So if you guys don't know, I actually made a renewal grasp video. I'm gonna show it right now. And yeah, we go through the base look of it because before that there was no uh, ornament for it. And I just wanted to plug it so that way you guys know that I made a video on that. Uh, as for the actual isochronal nano fluid itself, I actually think, think it looks really cool. Like I actually do like it, but I do think it's a little small, especially when you see it with my uh, example set. But we'll get to that when we get to that. For the actual look of it, I think it looks cool. I think there's the the like fans that keep moving. I think it's super cool. I think the wiring is super cool as well. I really like that. You can't see it in the picture right now, but in the inner like arm, I guess the forearm and part of the bicep, 
you will see there's like uh some wiring there i think that looks really cool especially with specific pieces which again you'll see in the example set as for how it shaders i think a shader is pretty fine uh my only i guess gripe you would say is that the isochrono nano fluid specifically the under armor the like leather piece uh takes the off color of cloth armor so just be aware of that because uh as you guys can see from echoed anger it's taking white instead of red which red is usually the color you'll see and for Abyssinian gold it's taking like black super black um which is kind of the off color but also not the off color like this is the weird one because for Abyssinian gold black is not the off color it's the main color for cloth armor but then when we get to Abyssinian gold or I'm sorry when we get to Echo anger it's taking the white so it's like either or depends on which shader you're using I'm guessing but it doesn't shader bad like a lot of pieces are shadering there's some glow in there very minimal but there is glow and like I said there is no piece that's like oh I can't change this piece so there is that and it's not going to be super duper annoying to like shader because it does shader really well as for the example set I ended up going with a really weird look so from here you guys can actually see what I'm talking about you guys will see that the arms have this like lined surface that goes really well with the eternal vengeance vest on the the ribs I guess you would say I think those two look amazing the only unfortunate part is that when you compare the arms to the chest piece it looks really really small but I wanted to maintain that line texture for the chest piece and the arms because I think it looks really really cool for the helmet eternal vengeance cask this kind of happened by accident just because I had the chest piece and the arms already done I was like these two have to go together and the eternal vengeance cask I was just kind of like this looks amazing and I didn't put two and two together that oh this is from the same set not saying it looks bad I love it but my rule is I don't like to use more than two pieces of a set that being said one of my favorite sets that I made for my warlock I am using two pieces so I'm not really that annoyed about it like at all so it's whatever to me for the boots interlace strides specifically because I wanted a little bit more gold in the boots so that way it could contrast well with the top piece as well because the arms and the vest also have a lot of gold in there and i wanted to have a little bit more gold at the bottom as well for the cloak we're using the forbidden visage cloak specifically specifically because the eternal vengeance vest i don't like how empty the chest piece can be with certain cloaks so i wanted to bulk it up a little bit more so this one i'm actually really really happy with because uh aside from the arms and the chest piece looking like not the same size everything looks really cool it looks super super cool if you really want to be uh knit like nitpicky you probably just switch out the helmet i think the helmet's probably like the only piece that i probably think doesn't look good with it but even then like i still think it looks good it's just more so like maybe if you don't want to use the same piece uh, uh set or if you don't want to use the same piece from a set i get that but i think this looks super, super cool so hunters let me know what you guys think which pe which which ornament are you guys going to be picking up let me know in the comments below we will have the titan one soon hopefully because i do i did finally get all of the armor pieces for my titan from the cowboy set and best believe i'm going to be showcasing a cowboy set with the new chess piece that they got so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later